guys, don't forget to smash that subscribe button and tap the bell for notifications so you get notified next time I go live. Hey guys, what's going on? Sunny here with Online Sales Funnel Academy coming to you from my home office near Seattle, Washington. Hey guys, so tonight I thought I'd come live with a topic which is how to live stream on YouTube from a webcam. Okay, so there's two different ways that you can live stream uh, primarily on YouTube. And I'm going to be going over the first one tonight, which is the webcam. So first of all, if you're new to my channel, welcome, welcome. My name is Sunny. I own a digital marketing agency agency here in Seattle, Washington, where I work with small business owners and entrepreneurs and help them get more leads and sales in their business. So going live, producing content and things of that nature are right in my wheelhouse. And I would love to teach you how to do it as well. You guys, and if you're coming on tonight, please uh, do me a favor, drop a comment down below and let me know where you're coming in from. Let me know what products you sell and who you sell them to. Okay, so what, who is this live stream for? So anybody who wants to grow their brand and they're just starting out on YouTube, maybe you're a small business owner, maybe you wanna be a YouTube creator or you're a coach or a consultant or a um, or something of that nature where you're trying to be an authority in your business or your space, or maybe you just want to grow your channel for fun, then this video is for you, especially if you're just starting out. I remember when I first started out in 2018 and believe me, the learning cur curve was at negative zero on how to do a live stream. <laughs> and I feel like I've come a really long way and I'm so excited to be able to share this knowledge with those of you who are just starting out. All right. so. Uh, sometimes people don't know how to go live and this can be a real problem because when you're you're wanting to get your message out there maybe you've tried it over on Facebook maybe you've probably dabbled on Instagram but YouTube can feel overwhelming like it's this big massive beast of a platform it's a little confusing and the link the language is a little bit different between Facebook and Instagram versus YouTube so it's really easy to understand why people could get confused on the two so a few things you need to know before you begin is tonight's um, lesson is about using a PC and not a Mac. I don't use Mac products. So in this example tonight, I'm using a PC. Um, I do have a microphone. It is a, uh, they call it a, a snowball microphone. They run about anywhere from $50 to $99, $105. And as you can see, This is a, um, this cord, I got one, it's about six feet long. I got it on Amazon and it's got the port on the back. It's called uh, Tech and uh, it plugs right into the back here. So this microphone never needs to be plugged in when you live stream. It doesn't have a power source. It is drawn directly from the computer. So the USB port on it is, uh, goes into the computer or USB hub. And then this port right here goes right into the back of the snowball. So that is my audio outlet. And then in, in tonight's live stream, I'm using a Canon EOS um, T7i uh, for my live stream. I'm gonna be doing a separate video on how to use the Canon for the live stream specifically. So this episode is specific to people who want to start to live stream and just like go through the motion of turning on your very first live stream. Now, we got through all that. Now, the first thing you should know is that um, YouTube has a rule that states that if you have under 1,000 subscribers and followers on your channel, that you are not allowed to live stream from your phone or your iPad device. That's just the way it is. Um, unfortunately, what we take for granted over on Instagram, where anybody can go live at any time, is the exact opposite over here on YouTube. The idea on YouTube is they want to make sure that the channel has enough followers and as they start to get like enough of a heavy pull or a heavy following, they want to give that um, like a luxury to the creators who are serious and who are making more content and to the people who have more followers. So it's kind of their way of weeding out the larger channels to the smaller channels. But hey, I consider the glass half full and not half empty. You have the ability to go live to get your message out to whoever you want and you can still do it from your desktop and your webcam and that's more than enough for what we have tonight um okay almost forgot now the the first webcam that i ever did purchase well first of all when i was just starting out it was just the webcam in my computer um i didn't ha i didn't upgrade to an external but um eventually i upgraded to this one this is a uh, logitech webcam 
It's an HD 1080p and it, I got it on Amazon. It runs between $85 and $165. You can also buy them, you know, in tech stores um, and things of that nature, but also on Amazon. Okay, and it's cool because it has a USB port on it as well and can plug directly into your computer. It does not require a power source um, other than the computer. So that's cool. Okay, so now that you've uh, decided to start going live, um, I'm gonna literally share my screen and Okay, so I'm going to share my screen as on my YouTube channel. Now, as you can, if you're on your YouTube channel, you can see right here, when you first come to your channel, in the upper right-hand corner, there is a button here where it says create. So what you wanna do, like, let's say you're gonna live stream for the very first time. You're gonna come over here, you're going to, you're gonna click that button right there and you're gonna say go live there. And the first thing you want to do is create your title. So you want to be um, congruent and catchy. So you also want to figure out, are you live streaming to the public or to just for yourself? And we'll get to that in just a second. So the first thing we're going to do is to set up the title. So I'll say um, Tuesday night, oops, Tuesday night Q and A, uh, digital marketing hangout with Sunny. The, the second thing we want to do is decide what level of um, visibility this is. If it's public, that means that YouTube is going to send out a signal to everybody that is a follower of your page, as well as some similar recommendations on YouTube. Um, if you decide that you want it to be unlisted, that means that people who are in your community, like let's say you want to do a private live stream, and you've got 100 people on your list, but you only want them to see it. Like it's a private event, kind of like a private Zoom or something like a, like a webinar. You could email them this private link and then when they come to the uh, webinar, they're the only ones who are going to be able to see it. Okay. And then the third level of privacy is private. And that's where only you, the creator, can see the um, the live stream so the reason you might want to do that is if you're a gamer or if you are uh, recording content for yourself like i am right now if i didn't want this to be public right now i would have chosen private that way nobody else could see it then i could just record it on their server download it and then upload into my editor do the edits and then be done okay so this the next little button on here is we want to decide is uh, do you want to schedule it for later or do you want to do it right now? And you can see it, it gives you a little drop down right there where I can actually say, okay, I'm going to schedule this live stream for, I'm going to pick uh, uh, 10, 1030 PM just to make sure I'm done with this one by then. So I pick Tuesday, July 6th, 1030 PM. And the next important setting is, is this video made for kids? Now this is a really big deal. A few years ago, the California um, Protection Privacy Act, and it's called COPPA, was rolled out over on YouTube and they found out that um, children were using their parents' accounts and accidentally gathering uh, streaming data on their parents' pixel. And then the kids were getting retargeted with adult ads, which is illegal under a lot of um, California state law and federal law. So it's really important that you mark right here whether or not your content is made for children. If it is made for kids, that's fine, but you have to notate that if it, and th what they'll do is you, behind the scenes, YouTube and Google are gonna cut back on your, on your retargeting feature for that video. If it's not made for kids, just click no, and then you're done, you're totally fine. Uh, again, you wanna also pick if, if your content uh, you feel has an age restriction, you know, maybe it's sensitive topics, maybe it's sexual, maybe it's guns and ammo, maybe it's hunting, something of that nature. You might consider putting an age restriction on your video. Otherwise, if you're a, a PG like me, you can click no, no restricted viewers. I mean, you know, they don't need to be over 18 to watch your channel. Okay, next up we have more options. And then here we can add a description. Now, if you want to fill this in later, you totally can, um, if you know what it is now, but that, that's that big long description that you put down below your YouTube videos. So you can leave this blank or you could just repeat the title. You could just say Tuesday night live stream, hang out, digital marketing, um, Q and A with Sunny. And then you can also put links down here. So let's say if I wanted to um, drop a link to my, uh, you know, hey, don't forget to follow me over on, you know, my Facebook page or, or something like that, you could just, you know, put that in here. 
Okay, now really importantly, you wanna pick um, where you're gonna be streaming from. So in, it's asking us which web camera. So I want you to pretend that I have my Logitech plugged in right here and that I'm going to be streaming um, from the Logitech and that the default, the audio is going to be the Snowball microphone. Now I'm not gonna go any further because I think, I don't know what's gonna happen right now when I do this. So if I do next, it's gonna ask me to take a photo from my thumbnail. Because it looks like Okay, well now I have an image for my thumbnail and I'm all ready to go. And so it's it's all ready to go. So you just wanna review your information one last time and make sure that you've got it all set up. So now remember, you can always change the title. You can always change the description. You can always change your thumbnail. You can always change all those things after the live stream is over. So what I like to do is go live in a situation like this, uh, go live, then I, my channel gets credit for the live views. And then when it's done, I download it to my editor. I put an intro and an outro and I edit the video and then I re-upload it as an official video on my channel and I get credit for double views. So a little, little uh, sneak attack I do on getting more views on my channel. So that is the basics you guys on how to get, uh, how to live stream from a webcam onto YouTube. So something to look forward to is getting the, um, you know, getting to your 1000 subscribers so you can also do it from your phone. So you can go in the car or go places and live stream as well from your iPad and your other devices while you're out and about. So I'm gonna click done on that one. And there you go. Now it's scheduled and it's in the queue and it's ready to rock and roll and it's gonna go live, you know, when you're ready to go live. When you just come in here and start. Now, if I was ready to live stream right now, I just would have clicked yes and then it would have, it would have turned on. But because it's, I'm already live streaming, I don't want to confuse the computer. So any more than already yes. Let me see. All right, you guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you if you did, and please, um, like I said, uh, consider smashing the subscribe button, tapping the bell for notifications next time I go live, and be sure to leave a comment. Let me know if you've ever live streamed on YouTube. Let me know what kind of microphone you use, and let me know what kind of webcam you use for your videos. I would love to know. All right, you guys, uh, take care and I'll see you in the next one.